Hello one, welcome back to John Bill's Iconic Merch Malls. Okay, so I'm just gonna do another video today. As you can see, Victory is over this side. I normally set it up in here, but I've got a little bit more space having it on there on this side. So didn't recently just did a quick short video on just just saying about obviously that I need a I need a bigger room, need a shed. I mean I've got quite a large area, but it, it's not enough. I, mean, I don't know how anybody uh, copes with it the same as obviously as I do. It's fine until you have to turn it around to work on the other side. And that's when the real real problems come. I don't know if anybody's got some kind of system how they turn victory. I think it could do like one of them, uh, like you get in Chinese restaurants when you can move the uh, all the sauces and the food around. I could do something like that. So I could spin victory round to work on it where I can work on the port side or the starboard side. So anyway, I can show you, I'm just working on the, uh, the gun ports for the, uh, the Admiral's quarters. So I'm gonna show you how I'm uh, going about doing that. So I'll just quickly put you on to, onto uh, onto victory okay so we're working on these uh, these admiral's quarters and like i said i've already done the uh, the port side but it's not in shot now but i'm going to be working on the uh, on the starboard side so pretty much as you get in the instructions as we know it kind of comes just like a, a cut laser cut piece of ply so myself personally all i've done is i've just took a little bit of this spare decking that i had over and i've uh, just laminated this over the uh, the front of that so it just uh, looks a little bit more like planks rather than just a, a piece of ply okay so what's, what you do normally do obviously into the instructions you kind of feed this under and then glue it into place so and then we build out the uh, the gun ports using some of this uh, i think it's let's have a quick look i think it's 10 by one and that will supply with the kit. But normally, once you've glue in these uh, these like frames, and then you come in and line it out. But what I decided to do is just added a little bit of this balsa wood, and this is just uh, some that I had spare. And all I've done is just kind of reinforced the uh, the side. So when you kind of build out the little gun ports, there should be a little bit more something to glue on rather than pretty much like a a standing a standalone frame because that's normally how it would be in like a little box so i just thought by having these little uh well i suppose like support beams it just gives it a little bit more a bit more structural really so i've already done the uh, the port ones a little bit tricky but i just think by obviously boxing it yeah you know, boxing it internally gives it a little bit more strength that when you actually come to feed in these little uh, pieces of wood that you cut, I think it just makes it easier. Okay, and also that when uh, I put on this uh, laser cut part, it only actually, uh, it only came to this section here. So I actually uh, just overlap the planks a little bit. So it comes right to the, uh, right to the end. So that when we put the, uh, the cabin fronts on, like I say, these are these are the ones that come into care. We'll be using the upgraded ones when we put this uh, these bulwarks in. Now it comes right up flush against the uh, the cabin walls. Okay, so the opening we've got to work with is 13 mil, and you can check that by just using your just by using your calipers, and you can put it just on the inside of this uh, bar. If I can get it in. it's 13.4 so what we need to do is obviously just cut loads of these little bit of these planks around about 30 mil so this is the uh the strip that you're going to in the kit and all i did is i cut myself a bit more of a manageable piece down and i already repainted it red so i've kind of painted some of it already and that's just using the uh the, uh, the red ochre and this is from the Admiralty paints these are excellent these are what I use on all my uh, victory builds and I think the you know, bike you can get them on the Caldercraft website and yeah just by pre-painting it a little bit earlier just means that there's not as much paint to do once you've actually installed them into the gun ports okay so they should pretty much line up in any case but when I actually glue it I'm actually going to put one of these insert one of these in so it will actually make sure that they will line up 
all in the future. So if you, by just lining that up first before you glue it, you know that when you glue this and squeeze it nice and tight, that they'll, uh, they'll line up in all, all the future. Okay, so I'll apply a little bit of glue to these and get them stuck down. So the same again, just using my uh, PVA glue. And like I said before, it's just this Gorilla glue. I just put it into a tub just because it's easier to uh, manage. And all I'm just going to brush on some glue along these little supports I've added. So now we can get this uh, little, uh, maybe, is it a bulwark? Is it a lining? I'm not quite sure. And same again, get this one that's already been cut around about 13 mil, and we can just drop that in. That one's a bit tight. That one's probably a slightly overlong. Use this one. Yeah, that one's a 13 mil. So we know they kind of line up, so I might just do one more. That one's a little bit oversized. So I've got a variation size and I've got something like 12.8, 13, and 13.2. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put a peg over so that pinches that nice and tight. I normally use my clamps, but my clamps are using to uh, actually just clamp down my cam. Well, that should have got that. Put one more in. Like I say, when I do the gun port lids, I'll uh, swap the camera around. But that's more just so I can make sure that this uh, this lining is in the correct position. Okay, so I'll leave that to dry, and then I'll flip Victor around, which is going to be awkward, and then we'll line the gun port lids like I've done in this one. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move Victory around now. I wouldn't normally show you this, but I thought it'd be quite interesting for you to see just how difficult it is to move this around. So I tried to kind of pinch it on the uh, the front part. And I have to kind of turn it in a couple of movements. So I'm kind of resting on the front edge and then I spin this one around. And as you can see, it is an absolute nightmare. Okay, so I think like maybe if you're building something like Victory, if you're lucky enough to have a large workshop, I think you could probably do like a central island where you can kind of walk all the way around it, or like 360 degrees all the way around it, so you can work on the bow, work on the stern, work on the uh, port and starboard sides, rather than never really having to move Victory. But yeah, not that fortunate. Okay, so I'm gonna reset my cameras up and then we'll uh, start lining the gun ports. Okay, so these are the ones that I put in a second ago, a second ago just so I can temporarily get the uh, position. So these actually can be uh, glued in place now. So what I'm gonna do, just run a little bit of glue just on these edges. So this can be uh, just set back and glued in place. I'm gonna drop this back in. So these are not flush, these are actually set back around about half a mil. Let's take a clean paintbrush, just dab off any of the glue on the front edge. Let's do the same with the one at the side of it. And there, try and find my uh, little tweezers in this organised chaos. The same again, just make sure it's set back around about half a mil. So we get the front 
that leading edge that's uh, black. Okay, so the edges are slightly different, so we need them slightly tapered. So all I had to do is using this uh, this wood that I've already got, I've actually cut them. I will do. I cut them at 15 degrees, so when we uh, put them in, they actually on a 15 degrees angle. So I'm going to cut them on the table, so I can't show you that because it means another camera set up. And it means obviously all the vibration, but I'll cut a few of them and I'll show you them. Okay, so as you can see now, these are actually cut on a 15 degrees. So when we put them in the uh, into the gun ports, probably need to be cut down. So yeah, probably need to be around about 10 mil, so they can slide in. We may need a little bit more, a little bit of a uh, not fit in that one. Each one's slightly a little bit different, but as you can see by putting that in, that sits back around about half a mil, like the last one. It's not glued in place yet. That sits back. So you need to sort of look at it from the internal side to make sure that it doesn't stick out because it needs to be set back around about half a mil on the front and on the back but yeah that was quite good quite happy with that so then that one can be glued into place i mean there is other ways of doing this people probably do it different ways it does you could make it in a little box to start with but i just think it's each one slightly different they're not perfect 13 uh, mil square so i think each one needs your attention each one needs to be made to fit each opening. And like I say, these are these are long-term builds and not something that needs to be rushed. If you want perfection, you have to treat it as that. Okay, so that's that one line. So we'll cut one exactly the same, do it on the inner edge. Okay, so with these ones, this this edge. I was going to need painting. I didn't paint them all the way around because I thought I'd get away with just be able to paint in one side and the two edges, but I can't. So that just means this edge must be painted. But yeah, if I do it again, I'd paint that piece of wood on all the sides. And that will fit in there. I'll build that. A bit glue to that edge. To pop this one in. So again, let's check it on all the sides, make sure it's it's sat nice. And now we did before this. And then go down the edge, make sure there's no uh, excess glue spilling out. Okay, so now we just need to do one for the top. And because we've built out the sides, we should only have around about 10 mil at the top. So 10.4. So see how good I did it cutting? 10.6, that's probably too big. So it's probably, because you don't, we don't want to force it in. It won't go. A little bit of force is okay, but you don't want to be uh, really having to force it home. So I was looking for something I can use to actually force it in. So it's going to there. And then, yeah, that's okay actually. It didn't need much force. So, like I say, it's only a fraction of a mil. But if I was really having to jam it in, then that's when I would have left that and just trimmed a little bit more off. I'll take that one back out. I'm actually just going to apply a little bit of glue to the back edge. Just put it on my finger to be fair. And then pump this back in. And then just using your tweezers, making sure all the front edges are lined up.
So that's one gun port fully lined. So we can kind of leave that to dry. Then all you do is come back in after with a little bit of your red ochre and just touch up the different parts. So while the gun port in as a drying, I'll just move my tension onto something else. So when we put this uh, poop deck on to get the, uh, the nice curvature, we've got a couple of more. Well, actually, I think there's only one actually, but you could put a couple more in if you want to. We've got one more support beam and that goes across these two uh, last ribs right at the end. So I'm going to make it nice and tight, I want it a nice tight fit. And then I'm going to bring it up so it's flush with these uh, tops of these ribs. So we can glue that in place because it's probably recommended not to glue that in place until you've lined all the inner, inner frames of the uh, Admiral's quarters. So I'm just be quite generous with this, put plenty on. Put a bit on that edge as well because it actually glues up to that. Then we can uh, just slip this back in. Make sure it's the right way with a nice curvature to the top. Bring it up so it's flush on the top of the ribs, and that's so when we put this on, that gives us another back support. And I can't squeeze that too much because it's not dry yet, but then that means we can get that nice curvature on the poop deck. So, pop a, pop a peg on that. Okay, so that's pretty much everything you have to do for lining out all the Admiral's quarters, adding the last gun ports for this section. So pretty much adding that support beam in. So now it's pretty much where we attach the uh, officer's quarters front. And then we get to put the, uh, the poop deck on. But that'll be in the, uh, the next video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed to, uh, today's video. Just a little bit more in depth how you uh, frame out the officers' quarters and get it all ready to add the officers' quarters fronts and then ready for the uh, the poop deck. So I say I listen. I listen to people. I, I, I do these community posts just so I can get some feedback from people. So a lot of said people have said they really like the weekly videos. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. It's not always possible. I mean. If sometimes when I finish work and I get a bit of free time, I can, like I've just now, I've only been finished work about two hours, but I thought I'd get working on the video. It's not always going to be possible, but when I can, I'll try and do a weekly uh, schedule. So please, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to just give me a, a like. Leave a comment because a like and a comment, it really, uh, it means the world to YouTube because they think, oh, if people like this video, they're leaving a comment and they are liking it. So I know people, beg people for likes and comments all the time. But yeah, for small little channels like me, it really does make a difference. And it means that obviously it gets out to more people because even though it's a small niche audience, I still, it's still, I mean, a lot of these groups, I mean, it's still thousands of people that enjoy wooden ship building. So I'd like to get the message out as much as I possibly can. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again. Take care everyone.